Yes! I almost look like I've been caught out, don't I? <laughs> Hello. Hello, my lovelies. I'm just logging onto Instagram while I'm waiting. Say hello to me, won't you? Um, I feel a bit close. You feel a bit close to you? I don't know why I'm speaking like that. It's, some, it's all funny today. Right. I'm going on to Instagram as well. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Started singing already. <laughs> Hello. Someone's calling and that's just not going to work right now. Um, let's go on live. Yes. Hey, Tony. Hey, Charmin. How are you, my lovely? How are you guys? Uh, let's put a title to this. Yes. I'm feeling really like vibey tonight. Anything could happen. <laughs> Dawn is in the building. Yes, Jenny. She's in the building for the first time. Welcome. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm really good. I'm excited. And um, thank you for asking, Paulette. I'm really excited. And I'm just like, I'm fired up. Mm. <laughs> right, so I'm logging on to my Instagram live. So I got all y'all. Yes, hello, Nana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I might even sing tonight. Who knows what's going to happen? Julie's in the building. Katie's in the building. Yay! <laughs> so, cup <of> tea. <laughs> Nothing changes. <laughs> We've got loads of people joining on Instagram. Mark is with us from Toronto. Yay, Mark. Bless, bless, bless. Lee's in the building. Guys, I'm having a couple of bl blueberries. <sighs> I'm just imagining that this is like dark chocolate <laughs> pray for me um you know some of this lockdown this lockdown fun has to stop you know we've got shows to do i've actually got my first gig that i'm actually doing on wednesday night and i'm so excited i just can't wait to sing with a band like can't wait. So I'll tell you guys all about that a bit later. Um, Brock is in the building. Kel's um, driving school said, what are we talking about? So like, tonight we're talking about music. Music makes the freedom come together. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, how are you guys? Let me know where you're tuning in from, please. If I'm shouting tonight, it's because I'm just excited. I'm just super excited. But I'll tell you all about it in a minute. We'll just get a few more people on. Um, I'm not eating chocolate. These are these are blueberries. See? Um, local brewed blueberries. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, hey Cheryl, welcome. Cheryl says we are owed a duet. Yes, you are. <laughs> Someone said, good evening, sassy pants. Oh, oh, gosh. Um, from Monet in Missouri. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got people from Essex. We got people from South London. We got people from Missouri. Like, we are global. Hey, Tiffany. Hello, my darling. Red lippy, as we do. <laughs> welcome. We got people coming in. They're waving at me. Samantha's waving. Amy. Amy, I, I, I got your message. I'll, I'll message you back, my darling. Bear, bear with me. Just bear with me, okay? Um, Ruby Locks. In fact, Amy, I've got a little project I, I need to talk to you about. Uh, we got Sar Sarette. Hello, Sarette. Thank you for waving at me. Um, uh, Katie says, is it thundering where you are, Mish? No, it's not thundering. I don't, like, keep it where you are. I don't, I don't want it. Not interested. <laughs> How are you guys? Have you had a good week? 
Everybody okay? Everybody's doing good? The family's good? I'm going to tell you about this lipstick later, Amy, okay? <laughs> yeah, we've got the Mish Power community in the building. Yes. Listen, some of you guys have been with me for a long time. Some of you have been on the Mish Power since the very, very beginning. And so don't, don't forget, don't think I don't appreciate it because trust me, I do. Dan's waving at me. Hi, Dan. Got Julia waving at me. We've got Imani. Yes, 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 yes. Um, right, so guys, tonight we are talking about music. So I want to know about some of your music tastes. Now listen, this is just a little surprise. Gorge, my Jay, Jay's in the building. Hello, gorgeous. Um, for those of you that are on Instagram, if you would like to talk to me live tonight and tell me about your favourite song and what the what your favourite song means to you, why it's your favourite, I'm going to add a few people tonight live on Instagram. So if you want to speak to me live, you want to come on and have a, like a two minute video chat with me whilst we're live tonight, go on to Instagram and send me a, um, what is it, a request to come on live, to go live with. And literally, you'll have literally like 60 to 90 seconds to tell me what your favourite song is, why it's your favourite song. And I want to I wanna hear some really lovely stories, okay? Because I know for those of you, that, like me, music is like, it's so, so important. And do you know what I was thinking as I was like putting on my lippy tonight, getting ready? I thought to myself, well, lip not lippy but music is reason is what's kind of joined us together has created this whole community because most of you know me from doing the voice or me being a backing singer or following some of my music now priceless and so this is what's created this whole niche power so music has done this music has created this thing so if you want to chat to me tonight literally as i said you can come on live for literally about 60 seconds 90 seconds Go to my Instagram, I'm on live, and send me a request to join me live and say hello to me. So please, we know music is such a powerful tool. It's so amazing. As I said, music has literally like saved my life, changed my life, gave me a life. I didn't even go that far. So I want you to tell me like what music means to you. Um, I was just looking at some of like the science behind what music does and we know that people that are musical, people that are creative, we literally operate with a different side of the brain and um, we know that like music gives off the pleasure hormone which is dopamine and it releases that good pleasure feeling in our brain. It's the same hormone that we get when, you know, when you have sex or like if you ex experience drugs. We don't promote drugs on here. Um, obviously, consensual sex, hey, do your thing. But we don't promote drugs. But it's the same hormone that is released in the brain that makes you feel good, that gives you that pleasure. Um, we've got people saying, hello, hello. Um, um, <laughs> Tiffany says, wish you had prepared us. I have no makeup on. Got it. John is saying hi. Hey, John. Ant is in the building. Jeff, Wagwan, Jeff, hello. Look, I'm here. I'm in my pyjamas, all right, if it makes anyone feel any better. we got got uh, Seven Addo waving at me. We've got Pink Caramel. We've got Bay Ros uh, waving. We've got Carlos. We've got Sharon waving at me. Hi, Sharon. We've got Soul Sister waving. We've got Black Venus waving. How you doing, dude? So, guys, talk to me about music so i want to find out like how how important music is to you and who has a favorite breakup song what's your go-to what's your breakup song what's your what's the song that you listen to like when you're feeling down when you're feeling low what is your happy song what is your on the way to work what's on the playlist like what are you listening to to lift your mood, share with me, share with me tonight. As I said, if anybody wants to come on live and speak to me for literally about 60 to 90 seconds, come on my Insta, send me a request to join me live 
and I will add you into the conversation. We will chat literally for about 60 seconds, 90 seconds. You can tell me what is your favourite tune. Jay, come onto Instagram and talk to me live quickly. We can tell people about some of your music. Jacqueline is here. People are waving the ass. Um, uh, someone's begging Katie to sing. <laughs> no pressure, Katie. Uh, someone said to Tiff, I'm in my pyjamas with a cup of tea. Look like me. I'm in my pyjamas today with a cup of tea. Somebody said they would they'd love to come on live, but they just washed their hair. <laughs> that is like the traditional blow off. I don't want that. <laughs> Oh, I can't come out tonight. I just wash my hair. <laughs> Julie says, music does make me feel better when feeling down. Uh, Jay says, music is so powerful. My special playlist, Cough Cough, has been extremely useful. Gorge, come on Instagram come and talk to us about your music. Um, uh, Tiffany says, but my favourite song is Priceless. No explanation needed. I'm priceless. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Phil says, hey Mish, Phil is in the house from Chippenham. Mish, can you please repeat your Instagram again so I can do a live chat there with you. My Instagram is Mish, M-E-E-S-H, John. Okay, that's it. And you'll see me, you'll, you'll see my little face, you'll see a blue tick, add me, then you can come on, you can speak to me live, literally about 60 seconds and I just want you to tell me what your favourite song is and why it's your favourite song. Why is it important to you? I've got people waving at me. Hi, Richard, Jacqueline. I've got Imp, Ra Imp Records. Hello, welcome. Uh, I've got Lincoln in the building. Um, tell me, guys, what is your, what is your favourite music? What's your favourite song? What's your go-to song? What do you listen to when you want to change your mood, when you want to lift your mood, when you want to feel good. Paul Cook is in the building. Hey, Paul. How's it going? How's your, how's your record label going, Paul? Let us know. Jacqueline says, my favourite song is C.C. Winans. Which track? Because I know a few of C.C. Winans songs. Uh, Jacqueline also says, I was listening to Kurt Franklin. What is you guys, what's one of your favourite, favourite songs that you go to? to lift your spirits. And the other thing I wanna ask you guys is, do you think that music, as much as it has a good impact on society, do you think that music also has a negative impact on society, on our youth or on uh, social matters? What, what's your view regarding music when it comes to social matters? Oh, for goodness sake, I've flipped the bloody thing and I... Right, Cheryl says, Somebody says Katie gets so much pressure. Leave Katie alone. Let her enjoy being a right. Someone's coming on live. Someone's coming on Instagram. Who's going to be the first one? Gorge. Hello, yeah. <laughs> To Jay. Jay, so Jay is my friend. Jay is an artist. You can check him out. Go to Mr. Bailey Music, right? Yeah. Mr. Bailey Music. Check him out. He's R&B, soul, Motown. Like, he does a little bit of everything. He's a phenomenal singer. Check him That's out, true. guys. Gorge, what do you listen to? Like, at the moment, like, in lockdown, have you got a tune that, like, brings you up? Helps you just to feel like... Positive. Do you, know, do you know what I was listening to? I was listening to um, Donny Hathaway. Oh, what song? What's 
Charmin saying R and B all the way. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Like so, like nineties. I think nineties R and B is like. The old R and B when you're singing about your boo. Yeah. <laughs> None of this like gangster. Oh, man's got a no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> no. I, I was raised on listening to. Uh, you know you got little dates though. Yeah. Yeah. You're fucking. Lady, I'm crying for you tonight. Yeah. Oh, Great tune. <laughs> Fantastic tune. So, Gorge, give give a little shout out about your music, where people can find you. Yeah, if you check me out on Spotify, Mr. Bailey. Yeah. On Instagram, it's Mr. Bailey Music. Um, my artist name is Mr. Bailey. First album's called Open. Second album's called Love, Love at 43. 43. Yeah. On the Valentine's Day, doing really well. Yeah. So thanks everyone for supporting. Yeah. Um, yeah, just check me out. So guys, check check him out if you want some beautiful, positive. You know, people don't sing about love anymore. Just, I did the whole album about love because I was just singing and this other stuff. And you know, like people like there's a lot of songs about the struggle and like don't get me wrong, I love blues, but I want to like I want to hear the blues where it's like mm, me and my lady, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. we're going to bed. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. <laughs> She might be on here tonight, mate. Who knows? <laughs> Gorge, thank you for coming on. I love you. Guys, check him out. JB Music and Mr. Bailey Music. Mr. Bailey Music, check him out. You'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Love you, Gorge. Love you, Gorge. See you later. Bye. Bye. Right, so come on, does anybody else want to talk to me tonight about the music? You don't have to be a musician. Imani, come on, let's talk. You're a radio interviewer, girl, come on. Um, you know, talk to me about the impact that music has had on your life. If you have a special song. Um, what's your, like, what's your love song? What's your favourite? So we've got, some people are saying, oh, they love Layla Hathaway. Woo, Jill Scott. Yes, PJ Morton. I'm loving PJ Morton's live album. Beautiful. Jacqueline loves Mary J and uh, Monica. I, I want to cause you no pain. No, 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 no way to be in the same for life. Yay! <laughs> uh, we've got, if anybody wants to come over to IG, to Instagram and have a quick chat with me. Come on live. I want you to be brave. Come on. Nana said, my absolute all-time favourite artist is Stevie Wonder and Luther Vandross. I can't help myself. I don't want nobody else to ever love me. You are my guide and light, my thunder, my love fantasy. There's not oh my love. Woo! <laughs> Never too much, never too much, never too much. Yeah! <laughs> she says, I grew up listening to them and their music got me through life in good and bad times. I want to know about some of the music that has got you through some of the worst moments in your life. You know, even now going through this lockdown, you know, I'm sure you guys, like me, sometimes there's the updates. Sometimes there's the down days and it's like, oh my God, there's like clouds, you know. What is the music that gets you through? Some of you that follow uh, Mish Power, uh, my YouTube channel, please go to Mish Power Hour TV on, on YouTube. Please subscribe. Any of the Mish Powers that you've missed in the last month or two are all on there you can check them out you can catch up with the conversation we've been talking having some great conversations but i also put up a playlist which is like my morning positivity playlist that i listen to to get me ready for the day and it's got some gospel music in there it's got some soul music in there it's just got a mixture of things so please like go on there and like get into my morning playlist paul 
says music can take us anywhere. That's the beauty of it. And ultimately, why we do what we do. I met Paul Cook, well, it has to be at least 15 years ago when I first, I started working with Eric Clapton in 2003. And Paul is someone who's been a supporter of Eric Clapton for a long time. And I met Paul through connections with Mr. Eric Clapton. And, you know, here we are still communicating, still have this friendship, this communication all these years later. Bless you, Paul. Paul, what's your, what's your go-to? What's your lift your head up? song do you have a song or an album like guys what is your album what's your number one uh, album that if you know you, you just couldn't see life without this album um uh shaman says my fave all-time male singer is lufa do you know what meet i have to say lufa vandross donny hathaway the, they're my two male singers that take me to a place i have, i have so much reverence for donny hathaway that i don't even sing his songs i don't even touch it i leave it alone respectfully like i just leave it alone kt says where words fail music speaks i absolutely agree with you giovanni is here patrick is here guys we're talking about music we're talking about the impact that music has on us and for those of you that, that, that are just joining in, if you want to come on live and chat with me on Instagram, just go down to the bottom of the screen where it's got the two smiley faces, where it says go live with, and you can come on live with me literally for a minute and just tell me about your favorite music, tell me about how it's impacted your life, and you can have 60 seconds live right now online with me now. So go down, send me a request, and let's talk. Um, uh, we've got Jacqueline says Dennis Brown. Woo! <laughs> uh, Phil, have you sent me a request? You got to send me a request. Um, if you go right down to the bottom of the page, there's like these two little smiley faces, and you can come on live with me literally for 60 seconds. Um, I don't want any bad behavior tonight, no swearing, no naughtiness, all loveliness on the line. Thank you guys. Uh, Katie says, I love a good power ballad. They always pick up my mood instantly. Like, what? What one do you... What's your go-to? Uh, Kate says, music is so powerful. Jenny D says, Gregory Porter. Yes! The OJs. Lenny Kravitz. Aretha Franklin. Pink. Kurt Franklin. Clark Sisters. Various classical music. Sounds of Blackness. Chronics. Wow! Bob Marley. Daryl Cole. There's such a, like, wide spectrum of that. And that's the what beautiful thing about music. It's like one day you're listening to a country song and, you know, the uh, I love, I can't make you love me if you don't. You can make your heart feel. But I love the original Bonnie Raitt version. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. And then, you know, another day you're listening to some blues or you're listening to a bit of... Beyonce, I don't think you're ready for this journey. I don't think you. No. <laughs> um, so someone says, uh, "I'm not lucky. I'm loved. I'm not lucky. I'm loved." Great song. I love that by John Mc Reynolds. Check it out, guys. It's a brilliant gospel song. It will literally just have you smiling your face off. It's beautiful. Um, Shaman says, at the moment, I'm listening to Mahalia, Plastic Plants. Do you know what? I need to get into her music and check it out. I need, she's on my list. So thank you for reminding me about her, Shaman. Um, Paul says, there's an EP called Little Me. <coughs> thank you, Paul. <laughs> Katie says, can you imagine a world without music? Basically, no. Uh, she says, I don't know what I would do with myself. I don't feel I could exist without music does anybody find themselves like loving some of the music that their parents used to play and at the time they used to think oh my god but now like they they hold on to that music like i i you guys know i grew up in church and we used to sing a lot of hymns and at the time i didn't get it you know they're beautiful songs and i love the melodies and just for singing its sake but now sometimes when i'm going through a moment i'm like what a friend we have 
in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. <laughs> Those old songs come back to you. Brunette says, uh, Yolanda Adams, uplifting songs, and the album Hero by Kurt Franklin. Great. Patrick says, 90s R&B and gospel from that era. Jay, uh, Mr. Baby Music was literally just on live and was singing that. Is anyone going to join me for a chat tonight? I'm here. As I said, be brave. Come and chat with me and, and just have get online for 60 seconds and tell me about your favourite music and how it's in. Why is it your favourite? How has it impacted you? Um, uh, Mr. Bailey says, writing music has been my therapy. Yes, Wayne is in the building. Wayne, come online and, and say hello to me for a minute and tell people about what's your favorite, Wayne? What, like, what's the music right now that has helped you to come through this lockdown and everything that's been going on during this lockdown that's been so emotional and it's been so um, testing and challenging? Like, what's been your what's been your go to music that just helps you to just get anchored and and smile and feel joyful again tell me about your favorite music tonight and how this music how it's impacted you um brooks says two very special people uh she says i never understood the power of music until i listened to you and katie you two completely changed my chain of thoughts i feel so negative till i discovered you guys uh, we got Sebastian who's tuned in from Germany. Welcome, Sebastian. Tell me, what is your favourite music? What's your breakup song? What's your song right now that you've been listening to or is there an album that's been getting you through COVID, that's been helping you to keep your mind focused? Have any of you guys, did you, did you sponsor, did you buy any of these charity singles? You know, the one with Captain Sir Tom. And we'll never walk alone. Uh, Pin Carabal says, Soca music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do the rhythm. Um, Jacqueline says, Janet K. Carol, lovers, lovers rock. Any, any rock, lovers rock people in the building? We got some people here that are bigging up Eric Clapton. Hey, listen, that's my... That's my old boss. That's, I have love and respect for him. And I, I learned so much working with Eric and such an, I literally just developed such a love for blues music. And so Phil says, EC for me, Mish, as you know, I had him rammed in my ears along with many of the British blues bands by my father, but EC and The Who, love The Who, and The, and the Rolling Stones. But my other... Uh, my other main main band are Pink Floyd. Yes, shine on Ukraine. I I don't know. There's something about that song. I love, I love that song of Pink Floyd. I just think, oh, um, Mahalia's brilliant. I've got to check out Mahalia's music. Um, Wayne says. Morgan Heritage, meet, meet you by the river. I'm gonna meet you by the river. Is it that one, way? Meet you by the river. So I can vaguely remember. Is it a reggae tune? Um, Jacqueline says, my mum used to play Jim Reeves. Look, we all grew up, every Caribbean family at some point had to play Jim Reeves. <laughs> Sebastian says, I'm a big Clapton fan. Also Johnny Lang. Johnny Lang is, is phenomenal. For you blues fans, I know you know Johnny Lang. Absolutely phenom phenomenal. phenomenal. Uh, Katie says, oh, thank you, Brooke. <laughs> uh, somebody's asking me, what's my favourite song? Do you know what? Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't bring it down to, I just couldn't bring it down to one song. I just, I just, I, I, I wouldn't know where to start, to be honest with you. I go through phases where, I get stuck in something and then I go on to something, but I don't think I have one definitive favourite song, but one that, that I do love. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but I, I don't know. I just love it. 
And I remember like as a as a really young girl, and it's always stayed with me is somewhere over the rainbow we have had there's a plant that I heard of once in a lullaby. Right, someone's coming on. Who's just sent me a request? Is that you, Wayne? Yes, come on. Oh, come on, yes. We've got Dave, Michael, Martin waiting to come on live. Come on. <laughs> uh, Patrick says, oh yeah, 90s dance hall, yes. Come on, let's hope you connect. Have you pressed connect? I've pressed add. Come on, let's do it. Uh, we've got Tiffany says, Prices is a song that I think speaks to everyone. We all go through something that changes us. We all doubt ourselves at some point in our lives. And I think Prices is a song that anyone can relate to. Dave, you're not connecting. So I'm going to cancel you. Try me again. Do it again. Send me a request. Somebody's somebody's coming through. Somebody says I love um, Eva Cassidy. Yes, and the songbirds keep singing like they know the score. Ooh, I love you, I love you, I love you like never before. Beautiful. Uh, we got someone coming on live on Insta. I'm waiting for you to come on. Is it me? Have I done something wrong? Uh, I don't know what's happening. But uh, I'm going to keep reading these comments. So, guys, I love some of these favourite songs. What's the songs? What's the music that's been get, getting you through this whole COVID-19 that's been getting you through the lockdown? Tell me. Uh, Katie says, music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind flight to the imagination and life to everything. Katie, did you come up with that yourself? Because that is that is well poetic, girl. <laughs> uh, Wayne, did you send me a request? I'm, I'm trying to add you, my lovely. Uh, somebody said, sing. Uh, we've got, cause in times like this, right now music is like a car that can take me out of the moment. It's been holding my mind together, the old songs. And that's from Your Agile Lady. Did I say that correctly? Mm -hmm. uh, Phil says, I'm here. Phil, you have to send me a request down, go to the bottom of the screen so you can come on live. As I said, if you wanna come on live with me right now on Instagram, we'll have a chat literally for about 60 seconds. You can say hello. You can tell me your favorite song. Tell me why it's your favorite. And then I'm going to cut you off and bring someone else on. Yeah. Uh, send me a request. Um, don't know why it's not letting me. Send me a request down down there. And then I can just add. I try and add you. I'm, I'm trying my best. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. I've got people waving at me. Somebody said Jeff Beck. Yay. We love Jeff Beck. Yay. Uh, Somebody said, um, optimistic, got me through lockdown, and I was glad when you sang it. You saw my version, yay! <laughs> I'm going to have a swig of my tea. I've got Ian waving at me. I've got Dave waving at me. Dave, try again. Just try again. Don't give up. <clears throat> uh, someone said their, their breakup song is Girl You Remember by Neo. I don't remember that one. I wasn't the biggest Neo fan, I have to say. No disrespect to Neo and all that. People like with four, let, four word names. Nah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Um, I'm going to have to research it after. Um, uh, Ian says, it looks like I'll never fall in love again. That's the, is that not, that's not, I'll never fall in love again. It's not that one, is it? What do you do when I come in love? 
If I got the wrong song, <laughs> probably. Shaman says The Winans Heart and Soul, favorite gospel album. Fabulous, fabulous album. Cheryl says, We'll never forget the pain of trying to get Katie on. Oh, it was, tra it was traumatic. Um, Tony says, I love Northern soul music. Give me a couple of tracks, Tony. Like, what's, what's in your, like, your top five? Tell me. And why do you love it so much? Um, Katie says, I'm glad it's, it's just not me that can't get on Insta Live. <laughs> right, I've got another request here. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to add you. Um, waiting for you to come on. Yay! Anne says, hey Mish, hope you and yours are all okay. I never imagined to call a song my favourite. Eclectic, I call myself. Well, what's like, who's one of your favourite artists? Because I know, for me, I can't pick a fave. Like, but I have, like, favourite people that I pull on at certain times. You know, sometimes when you're feeling a little bit, I must admit, when I'm going through, like, relationship drama, let's call it that, or relationship um, differences of opinion. <laughs> I do pull on Aretha Franklin. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you better think, think, think about what you're trying to <laughs> It's all the head and shoulders are going. <laughs> oh, yes, Dave is saying chronics. It said I've added you, Dave, but I don't know why. Do you guys need to do something when I add you? Do you need to click it or something? Let me try one more time. I don't know if you need to accept. When I've added you, if you need to accept me. Sheree Elizabeth Morris is in the building. Um, welcome, Sheree. How are you, my lovely? Top five favourite artists. Oh, my gosh. That is so hard. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know where to start because I tell you why, I have my personal list in terms of people that I have a, a, a connection with and I have relationship with. So it would be the Eric Claptons and Will Young and Annie Lennox and Joss Stone and do you know what I mean? Like those people that, I, you know, they've been so good to me and I've had wonderful times with them and, you know, they've supported me and and then I have my my like like i said earlier you you guys know i love aretha franklin you guys like aretha will sing me happy sing the relationship happy she'll sing you happy when it comes to you know breakup time you know happiness when i need motivation um i love you guys heard me say i love the voice of luther vandross so he he stimulates my creativity in terms of like a vocal performance. And so there's certain people I listen to when I feel like I'm preparing to do a project or I'm preparing to record and I listen to how they approach things and their tone and their performance. And then there's some people that like, if I've got a meeting and I need to go and negotiate, <laughs> then I might listen to someone like Mary J. Blige or I might listen to, um, oh, I was listening to um, oh, the group Fleetwood Mac the other day. And they just got me all, all hyped up, you know. <laughs> and then when I work out, I literally, I do have Rocky playing in my mind. Da -da -da, da -da. <laughs> and sometimes I have a, a bit of Beyonce. Because I just think, mm, 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 girl power, come on, shell, mm, mm, you can do it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, someone said, oh, I didn't know Mish had a man. <laughs> Tell him from us, he better give you the world or the entire Mish power hour community will revolt. <laughs> Did I say, oh God, I have to be careful what I say on this, you know. <laughs> Somebody says they love Sounds of Blackness. Um, somebody says they love the Clark Sisters. I've got another request down here. I'm trying to add you. Phil, I've just tried to add you, so I'm hoping you're able to come on. 
uh, Wayne said, oh, it's reggae, okay. Um, Jacqueline says she loves Michael Bolton. <gasps> Phil! Yo! Yeah! How are you? The last time, the last time I got to say that I've seen you with the man who I call God was 2011 in the R8. With Stevie Wingwood, Aww. he will always be my hero. I had him rammed into them Aww. from my father from when I was a youngster. If there's one song that I first picked up on him, and I don't think, well, you do do backing vocals a lot to it whenever you played with him, yeah. was Crop Road, but Aww. you know, the cream, the cream sort of stuff bit on me, and then the solo Phenomenal. stuff. Yeah. But, for, for solo stuff, I gotta say, uh, probably Tears in Heaven. Oh, or, yes, beautiful. Or, or Wonderful Tonight. Oh, it's forever and a wonderful tonight. And we gotta to dedicate Tears in Heaven to that poor pilot that was lost out in that crash at the North in the North Sea today. Yes. Yeah. Very very drastic, but. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very quickly, as I said to you earlier, my ever heroes were all them British blues band yeah. from back in the day. Yeah. Of which, two years ago today, yes. in the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, mm -hmm. was my very first time ever of seeing the Rolling Stones. Oh. Two years ago. Wow! Amazing. I'm glad you got to do it. So tick it yeah, off the you ticked uh, it off the list. Yeah, well yeah. done. I'm going again. I'm going again. But oh. you know, as and when they tour. But the other guy who I want to go and see again. Yeah. Is Dex Gilmore? I think. Oh, he's phenomenal. Brian, Brian Chambers done yeah. backing vocals with, didn't he? Yes. You know yeah. that I I I sang with Dave Gilmore a few years ago as well. Did you? Yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, well, <laughs> if you go on YouTube, you put in live at the Royal Festival Hall, you'll see some of our the, the show come up, and you'll you'll spot me in there. Did you uh, Did you sing with with Durger, the broom, who used to sing with it? Yes. In the Floyd Gate? Yes. Durger. Durger. Yes, Durger. she's a black girl from America. You got her. I was yes. staying with her. I was staying with her when she was playing in a Floyd tribute band back in a back in uh, November in Southampton. Oh. I met her for the very first time down there. Oh. Uh, I know her uh, sister well. Oh, lovely. Well. Yes. When I when I worked with David Floyd, uh, sorry, David Gilmore, she was one of the backing singers, and and then I um Brilliant. I joined it. Brilliant. So Phil, thank you so much for sharing your favourite oh, music God, with I us. You You're very gracious, area. and well, thank you for being uh, I'm brave. In my, I'm in my PJs as well. That's all right. To retire early tonight. That's all right, my lovely. Thank you so much, Phil. I'll come back on the Facebook. Yes. Chat. See you later. Bye. Yay! Oh, bless Phil. So, Phil was saying, you know, I've not watched the news today because I'm, I'm kind of limiting how much I kind of feed myself. And he was talking about a plane that went down today, I think, in the North Sea. And he mentioned Tears in Heaven, which we know, so most of you know, it's an Eric Clapton song. So, would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? I must be strong and carry on. For I know I don't belong here in heaven. So that's dedicated to the gentleman who lost his life today. In the plane that went down and that was phil's recommendation well done so phil's telling us about if anybody else wants to come on live with me literally 60 seconds you can tell me what's your favorite music why it's your favorite how much it's in, it's inspired you tell me tell me tell me uh thank you guys for like we've got loads of people joining the conversation um 
We've had so many really great like recommendations of music tonight from gospel music to blues to R&B. We've got a number of 90s R&B fans like, come on, who did not love a bit of Jodeci? And a bit of Boys to Men. Although we've come to the end. Cheer! <laughs> uh, Cheryl says, some of the stories uh, some of us have shared on here, we are a, a trusted circle. Yes. We are. Thank you for those of you that are just coming on that are waving at me. Uh, somebody said that they love Bell Bottom Blues. Great track. Wayne says, Andre Crouch, through it all, through it all, through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Woo! Guys, you know, if some of this music you've never heard on, then please, like, Go on Google, check it out. I'm telling you, you're going to love some of these, these, these songs. And some of these songs will really lift your spirits, especially during that, like this difficult time. I know some of you guys, we've all, we've all been challenged in some way. I know some of you guys have lost people that you love, that you care about. You know, we're, we're dealing with uncertainty and work and, you know, children. And, you know, some of us are like drinking far too much tea to handle everything that's going on. So check out some of this music and I hope that it will inspire you and lift your spirits. Let's get a couple more of the comments. Uh, Tony says he loves Northern Soul tracks. I Do Anything by Lorraine Silver. Second Chance by Diane Shaw. Eddie Holman, Lonely Girl. Edwin Starr with Contact. Angelo Starr with The Same. Wow, that's, those are some classics right there. Um, Katie says, I love the quote, if you t if you cannot teach me to fly, teach me to sing. I've never heard that quote before. I love that. Bradley's waving at me. Angela's waving at me. Carol's waving at me. Normski's waving at me. Uh, we've got Nevada Gospel waving at me. Ciao. Uh, we've got DJ Farid waving at me. Uh, Charmin says, I love Tears in Heaven. It makes me sad. I know, I know, but it's a beautiful, beautiful song. Mary says, hello. Ian says, nothing compares to you. And how am I supp supposed to live without you? Break up songs. <laughs> 30 years old this, this week. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? <laughs> Listen, that was classic hairbrush. <laughs> I love that. And nothing compares. I, you know what? I've done a version of that on YouTube. Check it out, Ian. Um, brilliant, brilliant songs. Paul Waller has joined. He's waving at me. Um, ah, uh, I Ian was saying, In the Presence of the Lord, Eric Clapton. Beautiful. Kyle in the building. Reggae, Beris Hammond. Um, what's a Beris one I love? Um, I'm sorry, I'm just getting my... <laughs> Getting in the groove. Um, uh, oh, uh, somebody's saying to Wayne that he's throwing it back. Uh, Someone is suggesting your agile lady saying Fred Hammond, beautiful chapters. Uh, Shaman says Betty Wright, keep your loving. No, Ch you know what, Shaman? I might have to listen to that one tonight. Maybe not tonight, so I'm feeling a bit hype up. Uh, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> guys. Thank you. I just want to say while I've got you on here, thank you to those of you that have donated to my GoFundMe page for me to get this album done. We've got. The album, we've got the dates booked into the studio. We're going into the studio in two weeks' time. We're going to start recording. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that haven't donated, every little bit helps. If you donate £10 or over, you will get a free copy of the CD sent out to you. So thank you, thank you. And please, like, you guys are helping me to do what I just can't do by myself right now. So I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for helping me to just get this dream ticked. So... That was what I've been excited about all night because I was at the studio today and I'm just like, I'm like, yes, it's happening. Come on, Shelly, you can do it. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Brooke says, I've never cried so much at a song than I did of your duet with um, of Shallow with Katie. Check it out. It's on Facebook at Katie. Katie Official Music. It's there. It's beautiful. Um, uh, Jason is watching. Uh, Sherry says, I love that you do this. Thank you. You know what, Wayne? A few people have said that you are throwing it back, bro. You're, you're taking us back. Um, Rachel, hello, Rachel says, one tune I used to love was Shaka Khan. Ain't nobody mm -mm, loves me better. Mm -mm, makes me happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was saying, I'm so excited. One, because of the album. And as I said, I've booked the time in the studio. It's happening. Two, because I've actually got a gig live on Wednesday night. Um, I'm doing a, a gig called Locked In Live uh, and there's artists like The Flow Assist, um, Omar is on there, Terry Walker. So like the best of UK, British UK soul, the best of British UK um, reggae are gonna be taking part and it's gonna be streamed live. So if you wanna watch it, check it out. Uh, go to their website, go to their Instagram, it's locked in live and they've got a page, they've got a website, you can see how you can watch the gig and I'm going to be performing on stage at the Hideaway, some of you know the Hideaway in Streatham, obviously there'll be no audience um, but just to be able to sing with the band, oh I can't wait, it's going to be so awesome. Um, uh, we've got Patrick says, check my band EP, Urban Soul Family, Feel Good Junk Jazz Funk. Where can we find it, Patrick White? Is it, have you got it? Is it an iTunes thing? Is it a Spotify thing? Let us know where we can go. Um, Amy says, how, how deep is, how deep is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to love. Cause we're living, woo! Tune. Um, uh, Kyla says, I feel good. Guys, these are true. That is a really good feel good song, actually. That is a really good, like, yeah, bring the energy up. Feel, I love it. <laughs> uh, Wayne says, Oh, Wayne's put up the link to my go <laughs> When you come down, I'll give you an extra piece of chicken. Thank you, darling. <laughs> um, Patrick Owen Medley says, Oh, it's only tea you drink these days. <laughs> come out of big people's business, yeah? Thank you, I'm a grown-up. You're about to ask me questions. <laughs> uh, yay! Jenny says, funny. Um, Phil says, Mish, that's cheered me up no end. Cheers for that. Appreciated, but nobody tells me I had to load Instagram on the phone. But you know what? You've done it now. You've done it. Anthony is in the building. He says, music has a way of inspiring, motivating. It builds you up. You strive for excellence. The Cole Porter Songbook by Ella Fitzgerald. Oh. Do you know what? For my album, I've been going through like songs that lift my spirits. And I've been I, that's one of the albums I've been listening to. And there's just so many beautiful gems on that album uh it reminds me of when my mum used to sing me to sleep as a kid earth wind and fire all in all helped me to really start listening to music production at its most excellent stevie's my sherry the last time i what was the last time i saw my dad it was playing in the uh, playing in the background center of my joy was the first song i ever ministered in song so nervous Shalimar for summer days. It's the power of music. Jesus, your center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. Ooh. Thank you for reminding me of that song, Anthony. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's so beautiful. This is a thing, you know, music means something to all of us. We've all got a story. We've all got a song. We've all got a breakup song. We've all got a feel-good song. We've all got a song that reminds us of people that we love, that reminds us of people that we've lost. It's just such a powerful, beautiful thing. 
Um, and as I said, music is what's connected us all here. It's what's connected you guys to me. So I'm so grateful. Um, we've got... Uh, Dave says we were playing some Walter Hawkins and commissioned yesterday. Walter Hawkins, like, for those of you that want to get to know gospel music, go, just type in Walter Hawkins, Love Alive. Start there. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I know there's Mahalia Jackson and all, there's so many things before that, but for me, like, I grew up on Walter Hawkins and, oh, um, yeah, Shaman, it's your 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, Shaman, remind me, so then I'll try and give you a shout out on Wednesday, okay? Oh, beautiful, congratulations. Can we send out some love on the screen for Shaman, who's going to be celebrating her 20th, 25th wedding anniversary on Wednesday? Congratulations, my darling. <sighs> Proper swig of tea for Shaman. Um, Tyro says, Al Jero. Fred Hammond, he has a gospel song for everything and every life situation. And if you remember them, Billy and Sarah Gaines, yes. Contemporaries of Bill of BB and CC One. There's lots of hearts going up on the screen for Charmin celebrating 20, her 25th anniversary on Wednesday. Luther Vandross, L uh, Mesa Leakes, Phil Perry, The Whispers, Layla Hathaway, my list is really long. Angie Stone, I can eat, I can sleep, eh? yes. Um, Alicia Keys' first album, which won five Grammys. Uh, I had a chance to run in with Phil Bailey of Earth, Wind & Fire way back in 1991. And another famous person, Michelle John. Backstage in the early 90s. <gasps> really? Oh my God, you have to tell me more. <laughs> uh, somebody says, Whitney, give me one moment in time oh that just takes me back tiffany says i'm gonna share your donate page thank you so much um j bailey music says jb says mr bailey music as we're talking about mu um, music feel free to check out my album there's a link on there so please check out his album wayne ellington has a jazz album check him out these are like honestly beautiful amazing products beautiful music inspiring music um tony says you are so lovely tonight loving the banter you're so full of energy i'm loving tonight thank you <laughs> just you know what when you feel like you're doing something and like you know what it's like when you're like you're what can i say sometimes i feel like i'm just fighting against so many things to do the things i want to do this is just me being honest so when you like just make a tinsy bit of progress. You just go like the next, you just jump over one hurdle and you get to the next place. Oh, I just feel so energized and I feel so grateful and I don't want to start crying because I don't want to, but I'm so grateful. And, and honestly, like you guys are helping me to do something I just couldn't do without your help at this time. So thank you all of you that have donated and all of you that are going to donate. Thank you. <laughs> Clinton's waving. Yes, music's waving. Yes, King Clinton from the Kingdom Choir. Clinton Jordan, check him out. Amazing. Um, yay. Louise Shannon's in the building. Hello, my darling. Uh, Cherie says, stay safe, stay safe, my lovely. Uh, someone said, oh my, yes. There's nothing like this. Yeah. <laughs> um, somebody Jacqueline said Anita Baker oh my god now like sweet love hear me calling out your name woo yes Clinton says hey Dave hey Michelle hello my lovely um, someone else has says change change is an epic song by the Hawkins again you guys heard me talk about the Hawkins family check them out we're just wrapping up, but we're just talking about our favourite music, music that has inspired us, music that is, has even been helping us to get through this lockdown, get through this whole COVID, get, get through this whole Rona situation. People are just putting up some of their favourite artists and the music that has really inspired them and kept them going. Uh, someone says Billy and Sarah Gaines at Aberdeen Street. Oh, that must have been fantastic. Jonathan Butler. Who remembers Jonathan Butler? Fabulous. 
Instagram is getting ready to shut down in a, one minute and 50 seconds. So I want to quickly read some of this, these comments. Uh, Dave says, China Moses. Again, I need to check her out. She's another person on my list. I'm going to check her out. Kay Mullen is waving. Uh, Dave says, good show this evening. Thank you. Zainab is in the building. Uh, Jill says, congratulations, Miss, on the fundraiser, fundraising. You bring a smile to so many. You must keep going. You are the best. Guys, all I want to do is pull out a, an album of positive music. You know, if you follow me on social media, my social media is all about lifting people up, lifting myself up, encouraging myself while I encourage you. Because encouraging you encourages me. When you guys respond, it encourages me. And I just keep encouraging you. And that's what I want the album to do. That's it. Yeah. Um, we've got Boo Boo saying hi from Brazil. Anita Baker. Kyla says Etta James. Uh, Ian says, it must have been love, but it's over now. <laughs> Is that your breakup song? Yeah. <laughs> Jill says, I've been playing a lot of smooth jazz lately. Ooh. Kyla says, yes, we need to catch up, Kyla. I'll see if I can give you a call tomorrow. Maybe Thursday. Uh, Mary says, Prince and Michael Jackson, music is life. Yes. And as I said, music, it's music that has brought us together. It's music that has connected you guys with me and... Thank you. You know, you guys continue to support me. And listen, Mish Power Hour is just about turning that pain into power. I love you guys. Keep smiling. Put on your favorite music. Smile. You can get through this. Lift yourselves up. And I will see you all very soon on the Mish Power Hour. Yes, guys, take care. Thank you for everything. Instagram's gone off. I'm going to finish reading a couple of these um a couple of these on uh facebook uh we've got lots of love in the building for katie we love you katie um uh, tiffany says please give us a heads up next time you're going to go live and invite people do you know what it was super random.com um paulette says but what else is in the tea Patrick says, you forgot the many nights we ate at Nando's. I cannot forget those many, many nights at Nando's after gigs, bruv. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> Said it wasn't tea you ordered. <laughs> get off my life, get off. <laughs> uh, Walter Hawkins. Uh, Patrick also says, Al Green. Ah, yeah. I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do, yeah. Ah, oh, tunes! Guys, I love ya. Thank you so much for sharing your music, for sharing your story, for sharing your favourite artists with me tonight. It just makes me feel good. I hope it's put a smile on your face. And listen, God's willing, stay safe. I'll see you next week, Mish Power Hour. This is where we turn the pain into power. I love you guys. Take care. God bless you.